Hi everybody, my name is Diane Hoffman. I'm an independent paparazzi jewelry consultant and I'm going to share with you um, how I display my necklaces. You might have seen this before, but um, even more importantly, I'm going to share with you how I transport this um, because I came up with a really good idea that I actually thought up all on my own um, and it works great, so I'm going to share it with you. Okay, so the first thing is this is the clothing rack that most people use for their pegboards. Um, it's like $15 at Walmart. I've never had a pegboard. Um, this is what I decided to do. Um, hanging The necklaces are hanging on these twirly ties, which you can get on Amazon very cheaply. They're not expensive. Um, you can ask me if you can't find them. They're twirly ties. Um, and you can hang 20 necklaces on each one. I have mine sorted by color. People love that. People love being able to just look in the purples or look in the whites, um, especially if they're shopping for something in particular or they have a favorite color. So that's also helpful. Um, I can fit uh, six, 10 twirl ties across the top and six across the bottom. That's a lot of necklaces, especially when there's 20 on each. Um, also, what I did was not, I did not put necklaces on the end. I put one of those jewelry um, things that you hang with the pockets on the end and I put earrings and bracelets in there um, but I'm probably going to get a second rack just to do that so I'll have one for necklaces and one for bracelets and earrings um, it was great you know those um, plastic things that you hang I'm going to show that one separately oh actually wait I have it right here I have one right here it's empty but I hung this on the end of the rack and on each end I hung one actually I think I hung two um, and it worked out really well but anyway you could just do all necklaces that's what I really like to do okay so but even more importantly is how you get this rack from here to the event well what I did was I took yarn okay so I have yarn and I tied it around each one and it's a little time consuming, but it's worth it because not a single necklace was tangled when I got where I was going. Okay, so I just tie it like this. I'm not, I haven't even tied anything yet. I'm just wrapping it around. All the, and I had yarn in the house already because I crochet, so that was easy. I have a ton of yarn, actually. I tie it at the bottom. So I tie it in a knot. Then I take your your regular store shopping bag, you know, with the two handles on the top, the plastic bags. I don't have any here right now. Um, and then I just put it in there. I put this through the two handles and then I lay these all in a bin. So I was able to transport all of my necklaces in a bin and then I had to my clothing rack separately. So you think about it. I have this clothing rack which collapses down and all of these necklaces, very easy to move, um, does not take up a lot of space in my car. Um, I actually had, I didn't, my big car I didn't even have with me. I forget why I couldn't have that car. I think my husband needed it. And I even had my smaller car and I was able to get everything in there. Okay, so then to get it, when you get to where you're going, you have to do this carefully, cut off the yarn. And all your necklaces are not tangled, it's amazing. Okay, so when you're at your event, bring extra necklaces too, because as you sell them, you can, you know, put more necklaces on. So you could bring some bins of necklaces. Okay, so it's not tangled at all. Everything is not tangled. I also, when I'm doing lives, I can use these. It's all color coordinated, so I might do gold necklaces, or I might do gold and bring out my gold earrings and my gold bracelets. Um, and of course, I have more gold necklaces than this, but... Um, this is, this is awesome. So after your event's over, you got to tie them all back up, put them all back away. It is a little time consuming, but nothing is tangled. Um, it was amazing. And while you're at your event, as it's winding down, you can start tying these up. They're still hanging there. If somebody comes over and they're like, oh, I really want to see, wanted to see some brass necklaces, just untie it and then tie it back up again. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you because it worked out really well for me. I don't know how people transport their pegboards. I can't imagine trying to transport that pegboard. 
Um, I had used something else before, something like this. And I had tried to transport them in my car, and I did. But I had necklaces hanging from them, and the noise <laughs> of the necklaces swinging, um, some of them came down as I was driving. Not, not a ton of them, but I, could, I couldn't handle that. So I came up with this. I, I watched um, a couple of different people use these, um, and these are awesome. But the transporting part was the part that worried me. I know people use... Uh, the oatmeal boxes, but I feel like they would get really tangled in there. Um, so that seemed to work out the best. Okay, so anyway, uh, my name's Diane Hoffman. I have an online store. Feel free to shop in there, check it out. Feel free, I'm on Facebook. Um, my I'm under Diane's Deals, that's my business page. And Diane is spelled D-I-A-N-N-E. Um, two N's in my Diane. Um, and I'm Diane DeBills and Hoffman on Facebook, but my um, business page is Diane's Deals. Um, I do have a group. You can um, ask to join my group. It's private. Um, and, of course, you can shop in my store. It's dianesjewelryshop.com. It's D-I-A-N-N-E-S, jewelryshop.com. Um, but I'm going to probably show you um, some other tips as I go. But um, I've been doing this for about a year now. It's almost my pop anniversary. Um, so I'm excited about that. I have a lot of fun doing this. And I am looking for people to join my team. So if you're interested, um, message me. I do not have anybody under me. So you will get all of my attention. Um, I work hard. And I have a lot of fun. I have a lot of uh, good advice because I've learned a lot in this year um, about taxes, about keeping track of things, about how to stay organized. Um, and I'd be happy to share that with you. Okay. Thanks, everybody. I hope this helps you.